Welcome back to Just Scribble. I have a package from Chic Sparrow here and I am super excited to open it. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how to do this video because I really just want to open this and share it with you guys, but I also think you guys are going to want to see kind of the next step. But A, that takes a little bit more time and I would need to figure out a different filming area because I don't have enough space here to do what I would need to do. So I think we're just going to open it up and maybe I'll talk to you about the next step and see if it's something you guys want to see on video or maybe it's something I can do and then voice over for you and maybe that would work just because space is kind of limited. But I am going to open this box up and then share what's inside with you. All right, so you guys may have caught my unboxing of my rustic tote in the Route 66 leather that I am in love with. And Chic Sparrow a while back said that they were going to make the Cheyenne tote, which is a smaller version of that, in the same Route 66 natural undyed veg tan leather. And when it first launched, I wasn't able to snag it, but they had let me know that they were going to restock at some point. And so I had signed up for restock notifications. And when I got that notification, I went online and I bought one and it's here. So this is my Cheyenne tote in the Route 66 undyed veg tan leather. And I'm super excited about it. So I'm just going to show you guys that this just has my order notes in it. I did actually make order notes this time, which I don't normally do. So all my order notes says is character is welcome because I love character in my leather. And that's all it says. And then the only other thing in here is, Ooh, the cute little acorn sticker for fall. I love that sticker. And the card about full grain leather and all of that. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to lift out this carefully and try not to knock the camera and move the box out of the way. So when I unboxed my rustic tote, my large Route 66 tote, I loved the sound. Y'all hear that? And this has the same sound because it's the same leather and I'm so excited. It's a giant dust bag, but I'm going to open up my new Cheyenne tote. Oh, I'm so excited. So this has tons of texture and pebbling. And then there is their brand. It is absolutely gorgeous. There are no like scars or anything like that on it, which is perfectly fine. It will develop some on its own anyways as I use it and abuse it. Not really abuse it, but you know what I mean. But this is my new tote. So the two things that I wanted to be able to show you guys was a comparison in the size and also the color of my existing larger tote to this one just so you can see how it has changed some and then also talk to you about my next steps. So as far as color goes, my larger tote I had planned to carry throughout the summer so that it would get super, super dark here in South Texas. However, because of COVID and the cleaning products that they're using in our office and things like that, I wasn't comfortable carrying it to the office. And so I didn't carry it as much as I had hoped. I did carry it for a little bit. And then I stopped and decided that although I hadn't intended on putting any sort of protectant on it, that I probably needed to because of all of that. And so right now it has just been sitting, waiting for the time that I have to actually add some protectant to it. So I'm going to show it to you because it has actually gotten quite a bit darker just from the little bit of use that I got and also for sitting in my studio. And so that way you guys can see this is my gorgeous large one that doesn't fit on the screen. And you can see, let me put it down below because it is so huge. It's not overly huge, like I can't use it, just too big for my filming space and my screen. So this is my tote and the coloring that it's got. And it did actually get some discoloration. It rubbed up against 
a, I don't know actually what, the car or, you know, a new pair of jeans, something. I got some discoloration here, which may or may not come out when I clean it and then add some protectant to it, but it is absolutely gorgeous. But you can see when I lay this one next to it, how much darker it has gotten compared to this one because this is the color that it was originally. And so in the short time that I've had it and not even using it as much as intended, it has gotten much darker and it will continue to do so. And so it will just get darker and darker. Even the straps, you can see here, the straps have gotten darker and they will do so more and more as I continue to use it. This is the Cheyenne Tote kind of on top of it. So you can see that it is narrower because it fits inside this other bag and then it is also shorter. I'm going to take a photo and I'm gonna insert a picture here. And so this is a picture of the two of them next to each other just so you can kind of see. And then here's a picture of one kind of on top of the other. That way you could kind of see an idea of the size difference between the two. I really think that this Cheyenne is the perfect, you know, running errands, going to your friend's house, just going out for the day tote when I want to take my planners and my journals with me. And so I can just throw my pencil bag, whatever inside here and take it with me, but not need all my stuff. So the larger one is more to take everything to work when I take my iPad and multiple planners or journals and my lunch and everything else. And this would be for non-work excursions, I guess, for lack of a better word. And so I am super excited to have it and to test out this size. These are the only two totes that I have from Chic Sparrow, and so I am definitely excited about that as well. But I am a huge fan, move my large tote out of the way, I am a huge fan of undyed leather and how it changes over time. And so I'm super excited to have them for that reason as well. This one has a lot more texture all over than my other one. It had kind of small pebbling, almost flat texture on one side. And then it had large poofy pebbles up near the top that went back into, sorry, I hit the camera back into that smooth texture. And this one has kind of the poofy pebbling everywhere, which will be super fun to see how it changes over time. So I'm going to move that out of the way so I can get back. Okay. So the only other thing I thought I would compare for size reference for you guys is actually my satchel from Sojourner. So you may have seen that I got a satchel from Sojourner a while back. It's probably been, uh, it hasn't been a year yet because it's been almost a year since I met Rowena and I got to try on and test her prototype. But this is my satchel from Sojourner. And so from a height perspective, the tote from Chic Sparrow is taller and then it is wider as well. So this is them up next to each other and then this is the edge. And so I can actually take this with this and I could stick it inside. And then if I had this in my car, when I stopped to run errands or whatever, I could carry this inside to shop with my minimal items inside. And then this could be like my carry all, if that makes sense. So that's kind of a size representation because I did want to show you guys the size and I did also want to show you guys the color change that I've had in my larger tote. But also I am going to add a protectant to this one before I use it and I'm going to clean and protect the larger one because it did get some stuff on it, that little bit of a blue or black kind of stain in one section. So I'm going to try to get that off a little bit. I don't mind marks and stains and things like that, but I definitely don't want like dye sitting on my bag if I can help it. And so I'm going to try to get it off as best as I can. And then I'm going to add protectant to it so that I can carry it more during this pandemic without being fearful of the chemicals that they're using at the office to clean and disinfect. So I did share actually on Instagram relatively recently some photos of the effects of that cleaning product and it's actually Clorox 360 primarily that it was having on some of my items in my office and that I had switched to my Filofax cover for work just because it was my less expensive cover and I didn't want my Chic Sparrow cover 
subjected to that. And so I know since they spray that everywhere all over our office, even our floors, everything gets it. And I just don't want my bag sitting on that, my leather sitting in that chemical. So I wanna add some sort of protectant to it. So the protectant I plan on using is Boot Guard. Um, this is actually a product that Jennifer uses on a lot of things and you've probably seen it if you watch their videos on leather care. It is a restoration product, but it is also a waterproofing product. So it's good for, you know, work boots or cowboy boots, things like that. And since these bags will be out and about everywhere and around things like Clorox 360 and other sort of cleaning products and because of the pandemic, I decided that I would protect it with this. I do have some other products as well that I do like, but I know that this is a good product for that and it will actually protect the leather from liquid and so if it does get any sort of cleaning product spray on it, it won't damage my tote. So this is what it looks like inside. It's just kind of like a balm and you can buy it on Amazon. I can put a link down below if you guys are interested and it does have directions on how to apply it. And so I was going to apply this to these totes and I was actually gonna start with the straps and kind of see how I like it because different products will darken your leather in different ways. And so before I put it on the body of it, I thought I would put it on the straps just because that's a smoother surface, easier to apply and kind of test it out and see what I think before I apply it to the entire thing. But I don't really have space in my filming area the way it's set up to do this on these giant totes. Like I could do cleaning and conditioning of traveler's notebooks and folios, which I do plan on doing hopefully this, later this year if things go well and life settles down some. But I don't have the space to do these large bags and kind of maneuver and actually let you guys see it in the filming. So part of the screen would be cut off and all of that. And so I'm trying to figure out the best setup if that's something you guys want to see. So if you guys want to see me do this real time and like kind of do it with me on a video where I walk you through it and I talk you through it, I may speed up certain spots. We can definitely do that. I just need to figure out a space and logistics. If you guys would rather see one where I did it and I just kind of show video snippets and do sort of a voiceover just to kind of show you how it works, but it's not the full process all videotaped together in one foul swoop, I can do that. If you guys don't want to see it at all, I can also do that. So definitely comment below and let me know what you think as far as the bags and the treatment of them and what you guys would want to see and I will hold off on doing that until I hear back from you guys and I see what the majority wants. But this is the product that I plan on using. If I decide after putting it on the straps that this isn't the one that I want on the whole body, then I'll pull out a different product and I will talk to you guys about that as well. But that is my unboxing of my gorgeous Cheyenne tote in the Route 66 undyed veg tan leather. You can actually get this tote in the Waypoint leathers. So let me see if I can show you. So if you go on Chic Sparrow's website and you go to collections and you go to bags, you're gonna see the different bags that they have. The Simple Pouch, I have those, I like them a lot. The Julia bag, the Breezy Tote, the Rustic Tote, the Route 66, which is this line. And so in that listing, you're gonna see the Cheyenne and also the Rustic Tote. So when you click on it, you can pick from the drop down. Rustic Tote is the larger one. Cheyenne, which is this one, is the smaller one. It has the dimensions and all the information about the tote in the description down below. And then you can see the Cheyenne Tote on its own and the Rustic Tote on its own. So the Rustic Tote, the larger one, hopefully this isn't too much of a glare and you guys can see. It comes in different colors of the Waypoint leather. Some of them may be out of stock right now. The red is absolutely gorgeous. But if it's out of stock, just sign up for restock notifications because as you can see from my unboxing, they work. And you can scroll through and see pictures in the different colors. I've done some videos with the samples of Waypoint so that you guys could see all the different colors. I actually have a whole chunk of them right here so you guys could see them. So definitely check out some of my videos if you're wanting to see the colors up close. 
And then the Cheyenne tote, which is this one, also comes in a variety of those leathers as well. And so you can scroll through and look at the color and find the one you like and buy it or sign up for restock notifications if you don't like the colors that are available. The Waypoint leather is a lot thinner. Let me see. Before I get off the video with you guys, I just show you guys. So if you can see that, maybe blue isn't the best one. Might be kind of hard to see. That's probably easier to see. So if you can see that, the Waypoint leather is thinner than this Route 66 leather. So the Waypoint bag is going to be a little bit floppier than this bag, but it will still have plenty of structure and it feels and smells awesome and it has crazy gorgeous pull up. So it is a really great leather for these bags as well. I'm just a huge fan of veg tanned leather. I am waiting actually for the Cascade Pockets to launch in the hand tooled leather so that I can buy an undyed version in the Cascade Pockets for myself as well. I'm super excited about that. Can't wait till that comes out. But this was my unboxing of my Cheyenne tote. It is super, super awesome. I didn't even show you guys the inside, did I? So inside it has nice and deep, plenty of space. And then it has a pocket here where you can toss, you know, your lipstick or your keys or what have you. And then this part is like a flap. So this part is the pocket and that's how they are attached to the same spot where the straps are attached. It has no stitching on the bottom. It is all one giant piece of leather, which is amazing and makes it extra strong. So it will last a lifetime and it has plenty of space to throw everything in that we would need to carry with us for our planning and journaling fun. If you have any questions about the bags, about the leather, about the boot guard, anything like that, please don't hesitate to comment below. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the treatment process and which way you would like me to do it, if you would like me to do it at all, so that I can figure that out and get that done for you guys. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.